Okay, let's talk about something important. People that either want to upgrade or get a new camera, it's like, I want to get into photography. Okay, well that's fine. So, what's your really big screw up? Uh, you're at the camera store talking to a dumb ass that has their head up their ass and they're only looking at you with dollar signs trying to jack you around and peddle you crap you don't need. Oh, well that's got advanced features. You want that expensive crap. Yeah, right. Shut the hell up. Um, even if you're talking to someone that's got some sense and wants to give you some helpful advice, usually their advice is not helpful at all. It's a be Let me take, uh, take my pocket wizard off of my Fuji. Pretend this is an icon. People are going, oh, you got the Fuji too, uh, the video's too much recently. Um, what are you screwing up on? What is it about this that you don't see? Whether it's an icon, a Canon, if it, whatever the hell it is. Uh, if it's a Sony, you shouldn't be looking at it anyway. <laughs> uh, just kidding, but not really. Um, cameras, here's what you need to learn first off. Cameras are sold to idiots. Uh, professionals buy a system, a platform, and they invest in that platform. Okay? Well, what the hell does a platform mean? Well, it's exactly like cars. It's like, well, there's this really neat Peugeot that I can get for $400 and, uh, you know, it's got some really neat specs on it and Grandma only put 50 miles on it driving to the grocery store. Um, so it'll go really fast and it's in great shape. I'm going to get that Peugeot. Okay. And then... <laughs> And then, a few years later, you find out, well, there's no damn parts for this oddball piece of shit. <laughs> oh, excuse my language. And that uh, nobody wants to work on that crap, and nobody knows how to work on that crap, and uh, there's no support for it. <laughs> and you're screwed. Um, there's no cheap accessories for it, like a replacement uh, doorknob is like a $1,000. <laughs> Camera crap is kind of like that. Uh, so, like I said, cameras are sold to idiots, pros buy a system. And the most important uh, thing, hey, I've got my crystal ball here. That's so wonderful. I'll just rub the crystal ball and prognosticate what it is you're thinking. Uh, I said, uh, cameras are sold to idiots, professionals buy a system. So what that means is that the most important thing about this camera, whatever the hell the camera it is, is uh, what you can't see. Uh, Nikon, for example, has uh, 60 years of glass. And uh, they've got countless billions in uh, glass. And there's a lot of damn awesome cheap lenses out there, i.e. glass. That's why I call the lenses glass. Uh, so that's what you can't see if this were an icon. It's like, yeah, well, I like that Nikon, but this, uh, this phony or this, uh, this, uh, um, uh, whatever the hell it is, this phony camera, you know, it, it's got more specs. It's got higher megapixels, and it's a uh, $200 off for the next 48 hours. That's great, you know. You're investing in a system, not a camera. Cameras come and go, okay? You need to be thinking about the system. And especially when it comes to really cheap uh, third-party accessories and uh, how prolific they are. Um, like this Fuji hasn't been out for that long. Um... There really isn't that much out there for it, so... And if I want a replacement eyepiece cover, I mean, those don't... The actual original factory one, it doesn't exist anywhere because uh, it's a small company and it hasn't been out that long. But when it comes to... You could type in Nikon, whatever the hell, and there'd be like 10,000 different uh, cheap-ass slave labor Chinese copies of it available for like 99 cents. Like the Nikon factory part's $50.00. But the exact same thing and the same quality by some Chinese maker is like 99% less. It's such cheaper. Uh, so when it comes to upgrading, you have to ask yourself, uh, is it more capabilities or is it actually just different capabilities? What about the reliability? You know, what about the durability? Um, uh, it is a truism that is irreducibly true and irrefutable by anybody that... Uh, in the photography world, the rule is that anything that's above a thousand dollars as a camera, but you're paying two or three thousand dollars more, you're getting between two to five percent more at most. So you can pay three times as much, that you only get about three percent more on average. Okay, you think about that. Um, 
attributes and consistency equals a professional camera, not the necessary durability, because all professionals have a backup, and they've got, all got insurance on their camera. And now you're going to ask me, what about for video? Well, this camera does better video, that camera does... Man, I really, there's anything that burns my ass faster as someone asking about video. Um, I don't give a shit about video because this is a photography channel. Okay? This is not about videography. If you want to care about that, then you should go get yourself a damn video camera, like a, a three-chip uh, Canon camcorder. I don't give a crap about video. I don't! Um, so don't ask me about video. Don't ask me about video. Keep hearing a noise back there. Um, must be a ghost watching me. So anyway, that's what you need to remember when you go to the camera store or looking for these uh, Christmas deals and whatnot. It's like, well, this camera's on... Like the current Nikon D3300. Well, it's also a Nikon. We know Nikon has the best platform. But what about the platform for the 3000 and the 5000 series Nikon? Well, it's not that good. Because that camera, while it's cheaper, it's more expensive. And this is what really gets me that people don't understand. That cheaper camera is more expensive. Well, why is it more expensive? Because it cannot use the mountain of cheap Nikkor D-series and AI and AIS lenses. It can, but not really. Really, it can't. And that makes it a more expensive camera because you got to buy G-series lenses for those damn things. Well, right now they got the D5000 on sale or they got the D33. Don't buy them. Don't buy them. You know, I don't care if the Nikon D3300 is uh, on sale for $250. Don't buy it. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's a cheaper camera that ultimately is more expensive because the platform which surrounds it for its capabilities is much, much, much more narrow than for a D7000 or 7100, anything above that. Okay? Bye.